Hey loves, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name's Janelle. So in today's video, we are going to be doing a what's on my iPhone. So I did an unboxing on this phone. I will definitely link that video down below if you guys wanted to check that out. So I do have the iPhone 15 Pro Max in the black titanium. Um, I just, what's it called? Um, I finally got my case. So I was waiting for my case to come before I did the what's on my iPhone. So if you guys want to see what's on my iPhone, then keep on watching. Okay, so we are going to screen record. Okay, so this is my lock screen and it is just a picture of me and my husband. I only have this one on here because this phone is new so I didn't really like you know change it up like that yet so for right now it's a picture of me one of my picture favorite pictures of me and my husband so that is what's on my lock screen and then once we open it up this is how my home screen looks so when you swipe to the right i just have the calendar widget the weather widget the battery percentage widget and the clock widget and then when you go back to the home page, this is what it looks like. So at the top, I just have this widget that says the date and the date. And then for the first widget, I have calendar and clock. So those are like the main two apps that I use a lot. So I like to log on my calendar like stuff that's coming up with my kids' school or like um, doctor's appointments or like special events you know stuff like that so I do use my calendar a lot and then clock I use a lot as well for like alarms and um, um, yeah like alarms and stuff like that and my um, what is that called my oh my god I'm getting like my brain is like on stuck mode um, what is it called timer there you go <laughs> i use the timer and the alarm clock as well so that's why i just have those two like out instead of in a folder but anyway so in the next in the first folder we have essentials so in this folder i just keep facetime contacts calculator notion if you guys are not familiar with notion notion is um like it notes like the notes app you know the notes app that comes with your phone so this is just like that but i feel like this is more organized it lets you organize it more better and more like um i guess it's more aesthetic wise i guess i guess you can say um because i like to organize my stuff in like a way that i like to if that makes sense you know like on notes you can't really really um organize it or like customize it or whatever so this one lets you customize your notes to like you know however you, not however you want it but like i don't know it's just it's just better than the regular notes app to me i like using notion way better um but yeah and then next to that is flow girls you guys know what flow is it's that time of the month and then next to that we have find my and then app store and then settings and then in the next um, folder is my kids folder so right here I just have all like my kids um, stuff on here so parent view if you guys um, parents if you guys are if your kids are in school you guys know what parent view is so parent view is like where you could keep track of your kids school information and all that jazz and then canvas parent this is for my son who is in high school right now this is where I keep track of all his grades and um, where I can like, um, if I wanted to email his teacher, I can email them through there. So yeah, Camus Parent is just pretty much just to t um, keep an eye on your um, kids, keep an eye on your kids' grades. And then Class Dojo is for my middle child, which is in he's in fourth grade right now. So this is like where his teacher would keep in contact with us rather than, um, let's say personally um texting us like individually sometimes there's like group setting like group ch not group chat but where she could send out um send out a message and it'll, it'll go to all the parents at, like all at one time so yeah and then that's where they have like school event stuff and oops, 
that's where they would have like their school event stuff posted on there so yeah i don't know if your guys's kids use class dojo but if you don't that's what class dojo is and then sync up kids i did talk about this in my last um what's on my iphone so sync up kids is um we have we got our son our fourth grade our fourth grader this for his birthday so it's like an apple watch but for kids um i'm correct me if i'm wrong but i think it's only exclusively for t-mobile t-mobile um for t-mobile lines or whatever so it's called the sync t-mobile sync up kids watch i believe that's what it's called so pretty much it could do the same thing as an apple watch you could call them on there you could talk to them on there text them they can text you back um you can track them it's just um like a kid version i guess you can say and i like this one because you can like track them you could set up like a little radius of like where if they were to step outside of the school during school hours you would be alerted so that is very cool i like having that because you know there's a lot of crazy stories that be coming around um lately with all them crazy people out there so yeah we got him this because it was either we were supposed to get him a phone or get him this and we weren't really comfortable with him getting a phone yet because he is just in fourth grade i know there's a lot of kids their age that be having a phone but um for us we're just more comfortable with getting him this watch because it'll be on him at all times we don't have to worry about him like taking it off or him misplacing it or anything and i and he really likes that watch too because you know he does pe and stuff and he like tracks his like steps and all that so it's a really good i think if you guys have t-mobile you guys should definitely look into it if um you guys were you know wondering if you want to get your child a phone or this watch but yeah i definitely do like it so yeah um check that out and then next to that is Nui. so Nui is for my daughter's baby camera and then hatch sleep is for her sleep machine and that's all i have in the kids folder and then on the next one i just have social so instagram this is my instagram y'all follow me so that is my instagram right there i do use instagram um mostly so instagram and tiktok i'm mostly on so next to instagram is threads and then threads i post on here and there not like all the time but yeah and then next to that is tiktok i do go on tiktok a lot too so this is my tiktok if you guys wanted to follow me but um yeah so i do like to post on there a lot as well and then next to that is facebook so facebook i just keep for like my family in the philippines to keep in touch with my dad's side because um most of my dad's side is like literally 95 percent of my dad's side is all in the philippines so this is like i had keep track of like my aunts my uncles my cousins and whatnot so yeah facebook is mostly just for that and then next to that youtube obviously you guys know what youtube is and then youtube studio is for like if you do content creating so that's where you could keep track of your subscribers when you get comments um you know stuff like that so that's where you could keep track of it in youtube studio and then next to that is safari and then that's all i have in that folder and then the next folder is finance so here i just have wallet t-mobile zelle cash app and paypal um i don't really use cash app and paypal i use, most of the time just only use zelle but i just have cash app and paypal just um because sometimes like our friends don't have zelle or you know stuff like that and then paypal is for like more of when i do like collabs and stuff and then um amazon you guys obviously know what amazon is and then sephora ulta and fetch so fetch rewards if you guys are not familiar familiar with fetch rewards you guys should definitely check it out so right now i currently have eleven thousand and three hundred and twenty six points so when you like all you have to do you guys is literally just snap a picture of your receipt you know we don't even keep our receipt anyways we always throw it away so it's like why not just snap a picture of it and get some points for it because when you reach like a certain amount of points you get gift cards um so like right now i'm at eleven thousand. i could get like a ten dollar gift card right now if i wanted to but i'm trying to save up my points so yeah and sometimes they have like um 
there's certain stuff on here where like right here the first one says if you buy one of these cereals you'll get 1200 points so each each receipt is only 25 points but sometimes when there's certain stuff on there your points will add up like if they had like special stuff like this like if you buy huggies you get 1600 points you know stuff like that and, and i think it's really really cool because why not get you know you get a free gift card at the end of the day so you can you throw away your receipts anyway so i was like you know what well, why not and yeah i really actually like this app so i've i've gotten like a few gift cards already from here so yeah now i'm back to the eleven thousand, and yeah that's all i have for that um that app <laughs> you guys i'm like so lost like ugh, my brain is not functioning right now i was so okay this is off topic but i was so sick recently um me and my kids were sick we had like the stomach bug you guys it was so freaking bad like we were literally in bed throwing up and you know the number to like literally all freaking day it was oh my god it was the worst it's like having a hangover but 10 times worse so i'm finally recovered that's why i'm finally getting this video out but um yeah okay anyways enough about that so on to the next folder we have editing and here i just have the camera photos and tezza i like using tezza i just use one filter on here so if you guys um you know when you see pictures it, it kind of gives them that like grainy effect on it let me show one do one for you guys so like this picture right here i'm gonna edit it so this is the only one that i use i go to textured and then i go to vinyl you see how it gives that like um hold on you guys sorry <laughs> i don't know if you can tell but it gives you that like grainy grainy look i don't know i've been liking that look lately so yeah that's all i use in this um this app like really so but they do have all these other filters on there as well but that's the one that i like to use and then daz cam also is kind of like the same thing as well so let me put a picture so like this one and see how it comes out to like it gives that like camera you know those old school camera effects so yeah that's how that looks and that's what daz cam is and then cap cut if you guys are not familiar with that that's what i like to use when i do my like um reels for tiktok and um instagram so yeah i really like doing i, I really like um using that because they have a lot of really cool templates so yeah and then next is productivity and in here i just have iCloud Mail, Gmail, Yahoo Mail, and then I have Maps and Yelp. And that's all I have in that last folder. And then on the bottom, I just have like my very main go-to, go-to apps. So I just have phone and then our bank in the middle and then text messages. And that's all that I have on my home screen. And then right here is just all the other apps that, you know, the phone comes with and yeah so this is how i like to keep my phone organized i don't know if you guys are like me but i really don't like when my phone is cluttered like i don't know my ocd can never like like stuff irritates me so freaking bad like once i see like a red like notification thing i'm like uh, -uh i gotta like look at it or whatever but yeah you guys that is all of what i keep on my iphone um let me know if you guys want me to go into detail more of any of the apps that you've seen but um yeah like i said i like to keep my phone very minimal and very very organized i do well i try to keep it organized as much as i can but yeah that is all for this video thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video bye